Hey guys, and welcome back. Today was a great day. I had a lot of fun. I wanted to take those Sure, the E30B lights, this one here. I wanted to take it and see what else I could do with it. So I used a Sony ZV-1, a pair of these lights, and I created this. Now, if you're interested on in wanting to know how to make a video like that, I'm going to break it down step by step. Tips, tricks, tutorials, behind the scenes, you name it, we do it, we cover it. So if that's what you're into, stick around and let's get into it. All right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to break down each shot step by step. I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of each little clip so you see exactly how I made it and how it was done. Let's look at the first clip. It was basically a bunch of cotton batten that I had just kind of piled up, kind of making it look like a cloud, and I shot some fog at it. Now the final image, what I did is I flipped it upside down because on the original one, the fog was rising and it looked weird. So by turning it upside down, now it looks like a cloud with kind of like rain coming down. So let me show you the behind the scenes clip of exactly how I did it, but that was the basic setup to it. You can see my cell phone's open. I've already got set to lightning. I just simply turn on the light that's the Surrey Light app that I'm using. There's a pile of cotton batten. Send in some fog. You can see how the fog kind of rises. Now, I've got the light mounted on a C stand with a boom arm directly above, creating that lightning effect that's going on. There's the light there. It's working really well for this. And I simply flip upside down in post to create the effect that you saw at the beginning of the video. So, this is our next shot in the ad. You can see my basic little product set up there. I got the which scary thing going on we send in some fog you can see the lightning effect because i have the light in the exact same place as the last shot and i love how that fog rises like that the next shot standing up the bag it was simply done by the man behind the mystery curtain i'm under the table and i'm using a stick to uh, raise and lower the bag and the little piece of tape down by my hand is i can't see what's going on that lets me know when the bag is standing up perfectly straight because i'm hidden underneath the table Ta -da! So here I'm using a couple of makeup sponges. It stops the camera tipping forward when I tilt the box up a bit. And the box, that's the box that the lights came in. So their lights are not only useful, but so is their box. I'm using it as a slider. I have it set on product, so that way the focus picks up as it goes along and where I need it to. But yeah, simply using any kind of object to help slide the camera around your subject to create a great effect. For the next shot, you can see I'm using two lights and I got some backlight going on. That way I get that nice glow on the T. Now this was shot slow motion, 480 frames per second. And I was using end trigger. I use my little drip bottle there, try and get centered over to the cup, put a few drips in, hit the button, boom, beautiful shot. <laughs> this shot, light overhead, me stirring a cup of tea. Here's our next shot in the sequence, lightning effect light above. I've got the other light in front there, lighting up the front of the bag. And I simply have a piece of foam core on a Lazy Susan that I use my hand to rotate the bag with to get the shot. These couple of shots here, I'm simply pouring cream onto a plate. Then in the next one, I've got some top light and back light as the cream's getting poured into the mug and I've got the camera up close to it. This shot was really basic. I just shot video with the lightning effect above and zoomed in post. For the ending sequence, I used two clips, one with the bag there, one with the bag out, lightning effect above. I use a crossfade transition to make the bag disappear. There you go, a behind the scenes of how I made that product commercial. I didn't show you behind the scenes of everything because honestly, stirring a cup of tea, I think you could figure that one out. There were some very basic moves in this, and that's what this was about. It was about making some very basic moves and techniques to create an epic video. I didn't have any high-end equipment. We used a couple of the Surrey lights here. I used the Sony ZV-1 to record the video. There's no high-end equipment. 
There was no super technology, no robotic arms doing stuff. This was all, I used a box as a slider. Come on. I mean, this is what it's about. It's about taking some budget equipment, some creativity, putting it together to create that epic content. I think it turned out really well. Check it out. I really like that. So if you have any tips or tricks on how to create some product type videos and commercial ads, I'd love to hear from. You. Leave it down below. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. So until the next time.